Do you need to create a thumbnail for your YouTube video? Or maybe you're on a limited budget? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to make a YouTube thumbnail for your video using Canva for free. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to canva.com and right here you can go right into the search bar and go YouTube thumbnail. And see, it'll give you the suggestions. They'll have the travel, you can choose a travel, um, live stream YouTube channel thumbnail, music thumbnail, travel, tutorial, food, beauty, wedding. Um, so it's giving you some suggestions. We're just going to go to the top and just say YouTube thumbnail. And then it will give you a bunch of different templates. So it gives you a great starting point. Um, you could literally just use one of these, change out the text, and publish it. So as you see here, there's free options as well as pro. Well, we're doing this for free. I have a free account, not a pro account. Um, so what you would do is just here, we could filter down here by free. And I'm actually going to be doing this for um, a product review. So here's what we're going to look at. So in one of our earlier videos, we did a unboxing of a snowball as you I'm what I'm looking for is I'm just looking at the different thumbnails that pull up for this see there's ours it's pretty basic they're showing the product just trying to see what's eye-catching because when you're, when you're looking to create a thumbnail you want to stand out and make it eye-catching to catch somebody's attention as they're looking so let's go back here and see what we have here for options. Kind of like how this is half because we can feature the product on one side and then on the other side have the text. Kind of actually liking this one right here. It stands out. Let's go back here for a second and see. This guy doesn't really have a thumbnail. This one does. Yeah, so I think let's go ahead. But I think this one stands out because it actually features. I'm really just looking for what's going to catch my eye as you've got to look what's going to stop you um honestly i kind of like this one and as you can see you could take some time to really they give you some good options I also like bright. Let's actually, let's go with this one. For some reason, this is the one I keep going back to. And the good thing is, is maybe you want, maybe you don't like this background color, you can change it. So let's say I want to make it brighter. Let's actually change this. Let's make this color. Is that the color that, no, that wouldn't look good. That doesn't really look good. So let's actually, I want to undo that. There, we're back to where we were. Um, I've already uploaded my image. So let me actually grab this image here. And that actually replaced, but let's undo it because there's two things about this. So you can do a removing of the background of your image in one click with Canva Pro, which that's the paid version. Or I do have a little hack where you can actually go to you can go to um, this site called remove BG 
and it's a remove.bg. You would upload your image and then it would download a transparent background on the image. And I've already done that. As you see, that's what this first video, this first image was. So, but that is a quick little hack to undo. So let me actually detach, see how you can right click and detach the image. Let's go ahead and delete this image. And here we go, right in here. You can also, once it's in there, you can recenter it, but something I would actually, I feel like it's not fully featuring the item. So you can make it bigger. More we can see what it would potentially look like if we just took out that item. And uh, another thing, you can double click an item and it will actually let you crop it. I can take it down. I probably just want to take it down to like right here. And then click out of it and see there it is. I also do like Let's see what this is going to look like. I don't really like that either. If you don't like something, we can just bring this right back. It's pretty easy to edit in it, make it how you want. Even though they're templates, I mean, that's the beauty part of it is that you can kind of change it up and make it whatever you want. I'm not really digging this. <laughs> I like this frame, though. I just, for some reason, this isn't working for me. They do have an element section here where you can see they have frames. And again, these are free and paid. Um, to me, the framing kind of just accents the product. So let's go ahead and put this one in and try this. I just want to make that bigger. Let's pop this in. Hmm. Let me actually grab this one. that and the frame and let's go ahead and put that in oh. 
not too good. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. So we can even bring this highlight and more too. I like that. All right. And so then let's just go ahead and edit this as well. We don't need that. And you can just put you and adjust the font to where you want it. And see, it's also helping align it as well. And I don't necessarily need that in there. So let's just get that. And we'll just say, and um, I want to change the color here. Let's do that. And it just, let's see, if we go really white, if that's going to pop. The cool thing too, is you can do these effects. So see how it's neon, but maybe I want it to stand out a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Um, and you can offset it if you wanted to. A little blur. You can also change. See how we can just. Eh. I think we'll just stick with that and you can make it in more intense. I don't really see a difference with that. And you can also curve it, which we're not going to do that, but it's a lot of customization that you can actually do in here, which is nice. So for this though, I feel like that kind of, Hmm. Oh, I feel like I feel like that kind of stands out, but you know what? Let me try one more thing here. Just actually go to the background and see if that will make the difference of what I'm wanting. 
I like that a lot better. And let's actually even see if I go and change. This is like a tint. But let's change it to white and see what that will do. Um, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like the blue, blue snowball text kind of. It's got that type of color, but then that to me is like really standing out. I think I like this one. And that would be it. Then the next thing you would just do is go here, download, and you're going to, you can choose the PNG or the JPEG, and then just go ahead and download. I'm going to take the PNG because it's higher. And there you have it. There's your thumbnail. And then all you have to do is go and attach it to your YouTube video. So there you have it, how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube videos using Canva. I hope this video was helpful for you and brought you value. Um, if so, please like and, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful information. And stay tuned for the next video where I will be doing how to cre create custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos faster and with an AI technology. So don't forget to miss that. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.